All right, guys, before we get into the video, I just want to give a huge, huge thank you to everybody that participated in the deck giveaway. Um, it really means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. I went through all the comments um, on the video, and I really, guys, it means a lot. But um, I had to pick three winners at the end of the day, and I did this at complete random, so I don't want to get anybody upset. You know, a lot of comments were really, really nice and appreciative, but um, these are the three winners at complete random. So, again, guys, Thank you, and uh, the winners are Harsh Magic, Alex's Magical Adventures, and Ben Levine. So thanks to everyone, and congrats on winning. Anyways, guys, here is the trick. All right, so obviously you've probably seen this deck floating off to the side. So this is going to stay here until the uh, end of the trick. We'll bring it out later. And uh, for now, we're just going to hang on to this nice little turquoise deck. And what you'll do is I'll have you, if you were here, you would just pick any card from the deck. You show it to your spectators. Let's say in this case, it's the six of spades, right? So remember, I had a completely random deck. I let you pick whatever card you wanted to from the deck, and you happen to pick the six of spades, right? Now, like I said from the beginning, super simple. I had this deck off to the side, and when I open it up, I can show you that right away, before you even started you know, looking at the deck, I already known what card you're going to pick, as you can see. I already have a six of spades flipped over, but the best part is, as you know, I could have gotten lucky, right? But before we even started the trick, I made sure that you wouldn't have been able to pick any other card from the deck. So that is the trick, guys. If you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the good part is it's pretty simple, and you don't necessarily need two decks of cards, but, well, actually, you kind of do because you need it to be different colors. So, but uh, regardless, um, you're going to use two, two decks of cards, and... Um, you're gonna have one card, so let's say this is from the, let's say this is from your one pack and this is from the other, right? So what you do is you take one card from each pile, okay? So this is how it looks, right? This, these are two normal decks of cards, all right? You take one card from one deck, one card from the other, switch them around, so now it looks like this. So from here, it's just a matter of choice, whatever deck you wanna use. So in this case, let's gonna use, we're gonna use this turquoise deck. This is gonna be the one that we're showing to the spectator. All you're gonna do is put this uh, selected card, this is a pre-selected card, right here in the second position. So that way, it's only covered up by one card. And then in the other deck, you just kind of shove it into the middle just like this, and you don't gotta worry about it. So that's pretty much it. And then you just put this one back in the box. You can put this, uh, probably just leave it on the table or something, you know? That way the spectators can see that there's no way you're tampering with it or anything like that. And then obviously, I prefer, whenever I'm doing like a, um, a card trick that involves a color change or something where you don't really want the spectator to even suspect that there is something iffy about the decks. I usually, just for you know appearances, you can leave the cards inside the box and it looks more so that you didn't actually tamper with the deck, right? So let's say you know you have these two cards, these two decks in your pocket, you say, look, I'm gonna have you hold on to this for me. Okay, that way you know you can make sure I'm, there's no way I'm touching it or anything like that. And then we're gonna use this deck. And you're just being really careful. You're just making sure that you're not slipping up with the cards. You're not, you know, accidentally going to expose this top card because then that would ruin the trick. So maybe as you're kind of, you know, talking to the spectators, you're prefacing the trick by saying, you know, yeah, I'm just going to have you pick, you know, any card. And all you're doing is just showing the backs of the cards to the spectators so that they, you know, kind of get this green appearance that look, there's nothing wrong, right? But you're just making sure to conceal that top card at all times. So once you get that down, it's pretty simple, right? You just have to thumb over, you know, a portion of the cards on top as to conceal the second card. And realistically, it's not even that difficult. The, the first two cards are not gonna be shown anyways. So spread the cards out, have the spectator pick any card they want. And this is a completely random card. All you do is set it on top. And then from here, you do a triple lift. So you come over and you flip over three cards to make it look like one card. But in reality, like I said, it's three cards not just one. So I'll leave a link on the screen to where you can learn how to do this. It's pretty, it's not too too difficult, but essentially what you're doing is just flipping over three cards, making it look like one. So when I come over, I'm flipping over these top three cards and it looks like one card, right? It's really three. But instead of flipping the whole packet over, okay, so instead of, you know, taking the three cards and flipping it over again, you're not gonna do that. What you're gonna do is called a wrist kill. So you'll just hold on to the single card Okay, so this is just the six of spades. I'm using my thumb and my index finger and I'm just applying pressure just to this card. So I lift it up a little bit, okay? Grab hold of it and then I just move the wrist away like that. So all you have to do is move it away without showing these two cards. So rather than actually thumbing the cards off and turning the face, super simple. You move the wrist, spectators aren't gonna see that and you leave this on the table. Next thing you do is go over, 
open up this pack and say, look, there's no possible way that um, you were going to pick any other card. And I swear, because look, as I go into this deck, you'll see I had already predicted the card you were going to pick from a four. And there's no way you could have gotten wrong because you can see I switched the card. So it's a pretty simple trick. Um, it's kind of visual, obviously, with the color changes. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And again, thanks to everyone who um, actually participated in the giveaway and showed the support. I can't wait to make another video for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. No. Mm -hmm.